Sorry to bother you, but I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I have to admit, even after everything, you are still full of surprises. Such tenacity. Your efforts are futile. Don't you understand? If not me, someone else is bound to reveal your secret. So why not use this revelation as an opportunity? As a chance to promote the corporation? You're the one who doesn't realize he's playing with fire, and that even tyrants can burn. We shall see. Tell me that's your stomach. Afraid not, but whatever it is, it sounds big and angry. We better hurry to Center City.
Finally, the beacon is here. This place is breathtaking. The ice has preserved it well. Initializing search system display. Connection to Earth in progress. Extrapolating the complete data. Updating storage system display. Destroyed. Earth is gone. All these years wasted dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars, if they hear of this, they'll be devastated. What am I gonna tell them? What do you think I should do, Amelia? Grow a pair... of ears, will ya? I say, cut the bullshit. Tell everyone the truth. It'll suck in the beginning, but only by knowing will people start growing. Abundance might fall, but after... what we've learned in Octus. Corporations will feel the blow, but at least for the first time, people will be allowed to choose their futures. And we can finally hope that a city like Noctis, that welcomes mutants and humans alike, will no longer be an anomaly, but someday become the norm. Come, it's time to go. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Manser who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. By delivering Bolgakov to the ASC, I had not only cut off the lifeblood of the opposition, but I had given away all their secrets, giving strength to my one true enemy. Despite my orders, I couldn't bring myself to kill my fellow man, so I let the deserters go and arrested their leader instead. I found him broken down in a re-education camp much later. I remember letting poor Dave go, understanding he only betrayed me to protect his family. Meanwhile, a more dangerous spy was hiding in my shadow. Despite everything Jeffrey did to me, I couldn't let Nisha shoot him down like a dog. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always gonna discredit me. Yet my decisions of friends, alliances, greatly influenced the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions, through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. Later, I agreed to help Dandolo chase the Vori out of Noctis, for good, cutting them off at the bridgehead they hoped to use to infiltrate every settlement on Mars. And because of that, Anton came close to paying the ultimate price when his men picked him as the scapegoat. But he's not a man you get rid of that easily. By becoming the great master of Technomancers, I've earned their unwavering loyalty. But I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility. Since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the Order is powerful again, our future bright. Scum keeps the young mutant nation alive and well, and with Phobos' help, he has managed to repel corporations' troops, time and time again. And with the incoming surge of refugees, you'd be a fool to bet against Mutant Valley. It's destined to become the most powerful force on Mars. The release of the mutants of Ophir opened a breach that was never resealed, 
thousands upon thousands of mutants escape to join Mutant Valley. And today, the citizens of Abundance actually have to do the labor themselves. The Army's role in taking down Victor allowed it to regain its honorable post as the protector of Abundance. The generals have powerful representatives at the assembly again. Then even if the corporation has lost some luster and prestige after the Colonel's reign, at least it can properly defend itself. Dandolo made the most of our alliance, as you would expect. Not this is now ubiquitous. Its merchants have obtained the right to citizenship in Ophir and are free to come and go from the exchange as they please. Everything else was dwarfed by my choice to reveal the Earth's destruction. Rumors traveled faster than Rover, and when I showed proof, panic and chaos spread like a plague. Riots broke out, civil wars erupted, the bubble had burst. The common people, realizing that no savants from Earth would come down to help them, finally began demanding war from their leaders. But Abundance and the other corporations are still here, their power now grown beyond simple religious manipulations. My new home, Noctis, has boomed. More newcomers arrive every day, and we welcome them with open arms. Dandolo says it's time to consider expansion. I don't know what the future holds, and I can't help but feel guilty at times for the lives lost after I revealed the truth. But I'm happy to see the people of Mars forging ahead, seeking to build a future here on the Red Planet. Our planet.